when we will be discussing the chapter garbage in garbage out in this chapter we will be dealing with the topics what is garbage management of garbage vermicomposting plastics these are the topics that we will be discussing throughout this chapter first of all what is garbage garbage means the waste that is being thrown out from our homes uh, from our companies etc these can be any sort of waste biodegradable or non biodegradable waste what are biodegradable waste the waste that can mix with the soil is what we are calling as biodegradable waste what is non biodegradable waste the ones which do not mix with the soil which remains in the soil forever that is what we are calling as non biodegradable waste examples example for biodegradable waste kitchen waste example example for non biodegradable waste plastic so how can we effectively manage these garbages the usual thing that we see in our homes is that we just throw out the waste right there is uh, no proper management of waste is taking place and that is the one which is causing problems in the society or in our, to our environment so how can we manage it effectively one is landfills what is a landfill landfill is an open area on which the garbage is being dumped okay once the garbage is dumped the useful products from that is taken out what is the useful products what do we mean by these useful products in garbage what sort of useful products will be that is waste right and what is the useful product the useful product means the ones which can be reused or the ones which can be recycled that is what we are calling as useful products those are taken out and the rest of the garbage is being spread over the land and it is covered with soil and later on that that particular area is turned into playgrounds or uh, after many years maybe buildings come on top of it in that way we can manage the waste the second thing is that use of or effective use of dustbins you might have seen in towns and cities different colored dustbins you might have seen what are these different colors uh, indicating one will be for recycling waste one will be for biodegradable waste and one will be for the harmful waste so what comes under this harmful category or toxic category the ones like chemicals and all will be coming under that category okay so that is another method use effective use of the dustbins the next method by which we can manage waste effectively is by converting it into compost what is a compost you keep these biodegradable waste for a long time under the soil it converts itself into compost by the action of decomposers decomposers the microorganisms which are present in the soil they convert it into manure that is what we are calling as a compost and this compost is a very good source of fertilizer and that can be used for our gardening purposes okay so that is another way by which we can manage the waste the next method is vermi composting same as composting the same thing the same process is happening there but here earthworms are being used that is red worms are being used so what does this red worms do these red worms grind the food they grind the biodegradable waste so how do you do it what processes are being done over there the first thing that we do is you make a pit you put your waste into it uh, some amount of soil and some waste into it then you put your red worms what we have to take care is that when we are putting the waste or the soil we, we should not press it why we should not press it because it must have sufficient amount of air in it there must be an air circulation that is happening have uh, taking place inside it so it should not should not be pressed and it should have moisture content in it because the earthworms cannot live in dry conditions they require moisture around them all the time so they start converting it uh, into compost the earthworms start converting it into compost with the help of gizzards gizzards are not teeth earthworms do not have teeth for grinding their food instead they use specialized structures called gizzards and they convert the food into compost and same as told before this compost can be used for our as a fertilizer as a manure that is another way of effective management of waste then what you can do 
recycling or reusing it. Recycle it. Things that can be recycled, for example, plastic can be recycled. You might have seen children picking up plastic or people picking up plastics from different areas. What do they do with that plastic? They recycle it. They reuse it. Okay, that is another method by which we can effectively manage waste. Now, what is this plastic? Well, what are the harmful or if, if a question is being asked, is plastic good or bad? Is it a boon or a curse? What would be our answer? If you look around us, in 10, maybe 9 things is made of plastic. So can we say that it is a curse? Actually, it is something that has been useful for us for a long time, right? So how can we not make it a curse? We can do that only by effectively managing it. What I'm coming to tell is that plastic as itself, it is not a curse. It is how we use it that makes it good or bad. You do not use it effectively, it becomes bad. Instead, if we try to use it effectively, manage it effectively, we can still live with the plastic. Now, what happens here is that we use plastic in our day-to-day -day lives. In each and everything, the pen that you are holding is made of plastic. The cover of the pen is made of plastic. So, anything that we pick up contains an amount of plastic. So the only thing that we can do is that effectively use it, effectively manage its disposal. So plastic, burning of plastic should be avoided. Try reusing plastics and try not using plastics with edible items. That means storing edible things into plastic. Do not try to do that. In such a way, we can reduce the harmful impact of plastic. In many places, plastics have been banned. Uh, rather than ban banning it, if we try to reduce or minimize the use of plastic, it will be much better. On a large scale, we will be able to control the uh, what is say, harmful effects of plastic. So in these ways, we can effectively manage waste and in that way, we will be able to protect our environment. Now, uh, what actually happens or who is actually being uh, affected by the mismanagement of waste is mainly the plants and the animals around us. For example, if you take the case of plastics, plastics thrown here, here and there, what happens? The animals tend to eat them and it causes problems for them even their death. So we can try avoiding all those situations. Now, if you take a textbook, in your textbook, you can see at the last, towards the end of the chapter, you can see the different ways by which management management of waste is being done. First one, reusing. Try reusing. Second one, recycling. Try recycling. Try using alternatives. Alternatives like biodegradable. Products which are biodegradable. Try using such products instead of plastic. Then, vermicomposting convert into compost. So these are different methods by which we can effectively manage waste. Hope this chapter is clear to you people. Thank you.